There may still be snow, but the sun does shine more these days. Girl! Happy! What? I went out and was quickly greeted by Happy, a friendly crow I've known for seven years. I thought she would fly off with the peanuts I gave her, but this time she hid them into the snow. Shortly after she was done, I went on my way. Not very far in, I came across cat tracks that immediately caught my attention. I'm pretty sure these don't belong to a domesticated cat. Apparently, people have been seeing a lynx around lately, so maybe that's what it was. I'd love to see it and was hoping I would, but of course, I never. Further up, it wasn't long before the little guys greeted me. They were pretty active. There was barely a break. I didn't see any of my blue jays that I normally see down here, so I went up to see Blue and Sweet Girl. Of course, I could count on seeing them. Sweet Girl was flickering her wings a bit, a sign that she's hormonal. Nesting time is getting really close. and Maggie came by. And speck the boreal chickadee too. I also noticed a pine siskin who wanted some food, but he never did land on my hand. Speck enjoyed his little piece of peanut. And Hatch broke up his into smaller pieces and hid them away. Maggie. Oh god, Maggie. Oh. oh boy. Where is it? Oh god. Oh god. I gotta get some more for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. You're so cute. Okay, let's get you some more. What are you doing, Hatch? Oh, out of focus. Too many skidoos, hey. Great noisy. Noise. The next day was a nice one too, and this time I saw Nova, Feisty J, Snowy, and Snowy's mate. Nova? And Feisty J just showed up. Hey Feisty! Never got to see Nova and Feisty J yesterday. Never got to see Snowy and Snowy's mate either. They're here somewhere. Snowy hasn't come back out yet. 
didn't know me. She just showed up. <laughs> I think she's gonna steal Icy J's peanut. As if she sees it. She probably don't. Hey, Snowy. <laughs> she won't know. That's her mate. Lentil and Lentil's mate was here too. A little while after, I made my way up through the woods, and I noticed that a few of the trees' bark was gone. I knew immediately who the culprit was, a blackback woodpecker. I looked around and sure enough, a lovely female was working on another tree that was close by. I don't see these woodpeckers often, so it's always a treat when I do. They eat mainly large larvae of wood-boring beetles, and unlike most other woodpeckers, these guys spend long periods working in a single spot, first pecking through the tree's bark to find larvae just below the surface, or finding larval tunnels that extend deep into the wood. I could very easily see the holes that lead to the larvae. These woodpeckers often forage on charred, blackish tree trunks, where their dark plumage helps them blend in very well. Some scientists point to this as evidence that severe forest fires have been shaping species for millennia and are a natural part of many landscapes. I'll probably do a video about these woodpeckers in the near future that will go into more detail about them. They're pretty neat birds. Glad I saw her. Hopefully I will see more. Next, it was Hatch and Maggie. Hello, Hatch. What do you want? You want some peanut? And so does your missus, Maggie. <laughs> what? Hold on. Boy. Then Blue and Sweet Girl. Hatch and Maggie were still with me too. I put a mix of food down for all of them. It's been a while since I've seen Hermoso and Fiona. I know everyone is busy right now getting ready for nesting, and it's probably a matter of timing right now. So I decided to go out first thing the next morning to look. Very close to home, I was greeted by Squawky and his okay. mate. It's been a lot longer since I've seen these two. So that was nice and gave me hope that I'd see Hermoso and Fiona.
Way up by Hermosal's territory, I heard a J. I was so hopeful, but it turned out to be Nova and Feisty J. I was happy to see them too, but I'd really love to see Hermoso. It's been a while. After some time waiting, I went to Blue and Sweet Girl. Sweet Girl. Cutie. Blue. <laughs> okay, Spec. Come on, buddy. Hurry. Come on, Spec. Spec. There you go. I watched some of the chickadees for a while, and then I went to search further in Hermoso's area. I found a grouse instead, which was cool, but I have Hermoso on my mind. It's been hard to find him these days because there are so many people out here due to the COVID-19 virus that has everyone locked at home. Can't blame the people for wanting to get out for a walk, but I'd really like to be able to find my little buddy. I know it's just a timing thing. I'll have to try again. Fingers crossed that I see Hermoso and Fiona soon. Thanks for watching. I know it's a little different than I normally do, but with the way things have been lately, it's just been so strange. I do hope that you got some enjoyment from this little video, though. Take care and be safe. Happy birding!